That one is screen? That's in the past, huh? Hey, hey, <laughs> Donald know. Trump is saying, That's in the past. Donald Trump right now is saying, we are so far ahead militarily Proud. that we hope, we're so far ahead that we hope we will never have to use it. <laughs> that is right, and he does it. We are so far ahead <laughs> that we hope we will never have to use it. Right. And man, with that being said, that nigga ain't extreme. Good. Like, that's very extreme where he's saying, like, we so far ahead to destroy a whole landmass uh-huh. that right. we hope we don't even have to use it. Yeah, right. That's fucking extreme. Yeah. You know? Jake, Jake don't believe that this nigga is that crazy. Man, <laughs> that's why Jake's so nonchalant. If this nigga destroyed hundreds of millions, all right, with swords and gatling guns, mm-hmm. what the fuck you think he gonna do to you today, man? 2020, man. If he preparing to fight the angels when they come back, what he gonna do with you, all right, in your apartment, man? All right, he trying to fight the most high. That's yeah. easy. That's easy. That's easy to catch you in your apartment. That's easy. Yeah, come on, man. You know, but hey, you know, the Lord has made their ears fat and their hearts heavy, man. So Mm -hmm. you can be caught off guard, man, because that's what the Lord wants for a lot of you niggas, man. You know, Mm -hmm. but we're going to continue to preach to the lick, man. Mm -hmm. You know? But that's extreme, though, huh? Yeah. You done with that, huh? Yeah, you finish yours, bro. I go last. Then, right. we're gonna close it now. We yeah. get yours and then we're gonna close okay. it. Okay. It's like, and the proud shall fall their back. Right, and that's this whole society, man. That's everybody that's confounded by the ways of America, aka Babylon, man. They proud, man. Come. You know, you got Jakes on the street that's bombs and they, they proud. They look at you crazy. Fuck. Yeah. So, perfect example, last night, you got big, out of shape women that just proud as hell, man. Right. <laughs> Just proud, man. There ain't nothing to be proud over. And just proud want to talk to you, ask you all these different questions and, you know, dance and bop their ass and then goddamn catch an attitude when you give them an answer. Had a nerd to call us rude. Call us rude, exactly. Right. <laughs> yeah, this bones don't even take change. Don't even take change. <laughs> Straight dollar bill. Oh, I'm good. I don't want that. Take change. I'll bones some bread. He said, what kind of uh, bread is it? Hmm? I said, the garlic bread. Ain't no meat with it. <laughs> Come on, oh, man. Like they say in the world, babies can't be too. Right. Damn. Boy told me he ain't ate in three days and Damn. told me that shit. Like, what type? Of, wait, you got some meat with it? Damn. Nah. I was like, nah, I ain't got no meat with it, man, but I got some bread. He was like, well, shit. I don't want that shit. <laughs> huh? Damn. Like, well, damn. Like, well, all right, then. Like, go to McDonald's. You tell Jake, come on, man. I'm home, man. You give me a couple of dollars, man. Shit, I ain't got no. I got you some chips, bro. You, you get these chips. Nah, I don't want no chips, man. Like, bro, <laughs> how, how you hungry then? Come yeah. on, bro. You know? Not you hungry. Shh. Right. They'll take that money, though. They'll take that money. You'll be hungry soon. <laughs> <laughs> right. right. Man, he saw have his way. You gonna be hey, hungry so the, the most I cold. This same Jake gonna remember that garlic bread um, on, on yeah. day eight. On yeah. day eight, man. Uh, uh, yeah, you gonna, that's, that's that garlic bread day eight whistling in his ear. When he looking like a camera stand, yeah, you gonna remember that, uh, that garlic bread. Uh, That's just like I got a cousin <laughs> who always, you know, come over and ask me for money. Yeah, come on. Come, hey, man, you got $20, give me something to eat. I'm like, man, shit, my, my old lady just cooked them. If you hungry, bro, you right. more than welcome to eat. Oh, no, nah, man, I'm good, bro. I just need, I just need $20. But shit, you just oh, said you need the money shit. to get you something to eat. I got something to eat now. You Jake. eat. Right. Jake chasing Jake that hot, man. Jake right. want that. Jake trying to get it. hot. That's yeah. all what Jake trying to get. Hey, but but you know what? During these times, man, for you Jakes out there, getting high ain't gonna work. Mm-hmm. Getting high ain't gonna take away the pain, man. Mm-hmm. You can get high as a fuck, but guess what? When you try to go to sleep, hey, the Lord sent demons on you, man. Mm-hmm. Hey, demons, hey, them evil angels, which the angels are, are not wicked. Mm-hmm. Like like I uh, I made a video on that. Are evil angels wicked? But with that being said, the Lord sent evil angels on you. You can't sleep. Right. You over there seeing all types of vile shit yeah. when you trying to go to sleep. Yeah. You messed up in your head, man. Yeah. Jake, you tripping. You think you can get high. 
You think you can sell your soul to the white man. You think all this other shit so you can survive longer. It's not mm-hmm. going to happen, Jake. Right. All these Jakes who sold they soul, all of them come back and be like, man, I wish I was broke. But no, nah, hey, see, the most I have to come back and be like, oh, you wish you were broke, huh? Mm-hmm. All right. Well, wait till wish you see them wish. demons that hop on them Jakes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Denzel and Will Smith and Future and Lil right. Boosie and all them rappers. Right. Hey, watch right. what you see happen to them. Right. Them boys gonna be crying right. on Instagram. Right. They gonna go live crying, man. Right. They gonna hurt. Just like the rest of y'all. Y'all gonna be crying. Y'all gonna be hurt. And y'all gonna be like, why the men of the Lord doing so good? Mm. That's what y'all gonna be trying to figure out, man. Mm. All right? Yeah, yeah, I got yeah, one. Yeah, the scriptures say we're gonna be good, man. Mm-hmm. I, 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 I used to get some more. I got no, I got one more question, brother. Y'all, brother, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. All right, go. I'm gonna get these uh, two quick scriptures right here because I want to make a uh, point, man. You know, in which it shows that the the Holy Spirit is dealing with us, man. But I'm gonna get this first scripture right here, John 4, 14 and twenty six. It says, "But the Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name." He shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance. Now, the key word is remembrance. It says, whatsoever I have said unto you. So now I'm going to get this quick scripture. Right if here. I can add to it, bring back to your remembrance. Because when you go into that word educate, it mm-hmm. means to bring forth, bring out, man. Mm-hmm. You know, when you go to these uh, these schools and shit, man, they're not educating you, man. Because they putting in you a pollution, man. They defile you, man, with their history. A Esau. False narrative. Man. False narrative, kind of, man. Mm-hmm. You know. And shit, these, these scriptures, man, this is what really brings us back, man. Mm-hmm. You know, like the scripture tell you, seek ye the old paths, man. Right. You know, and that and that's what these scriptures, this these scriptures are meant to do, man, to bring us back to the heavenly Father, to educate us, man, to bring it back to our remembrance, man. Right. Same right. thing, same process, same water, man. Right. You know, because before that tabernacle of David can be even built back up, we got to come back to who we are, man. Mm-hmm. We got we got to remember who we are, because without us remembering who we are, how can the how can the, the, the tabernacle of David be built back up, man? Mm. You know, but this is, uh, this is, uh, this is First Kings chapter 8, and I'm going to start at, uh, let's see, verse 47. It says, yet if they shall bethink themselves, meaning to remember, in the land, whether they were carried captive and repent and make supplications unto thee, in the land of them that carried them captive, saying, We have sinned and it's have done. in real time. Come, come. You know, we in the land of our captivity and we're come. repenting, man. Come. That's happening in real time, man. Come. You know, go ahead. And this is going to be a result of that, you got Come. Saying, We have sinned and have done perversely. We have committed wickedness. Yep. And so return unto thee with all their heart and with all their soul in the land of their enemies. Yep. Which led them away captive. And then that's another thing. Uh, our people hate accountability, man. Yeah. It's hard Come. to blame Jake for someone. Mm-hmm. Jake you justified know? himself. Yeah, Jake justified themselves. And then they bring up something you did. Come. They act like, <laughs> yeah. like something you did justify them doing them doing what, what they, they did. did. Come. Mm-hmm. You know, special <laughs> woman. Try to correct your woman. Come. Come. You Come. can't do it. Render not evil for evil. But that's what they do. And, 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 and right. what they say in the world, two two wrongs don't make a right. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Render not evil for evil. You know? we, we, yeah, Jake don't understand now. We dealing with this situation. Come. You know? Jake late for work and you tell him about it. He like Jake, you gotta start coming on time. Mm-hmm. You know, first you're gonna justify yourself. And then when you bust that shit up, alright, then he gonna go to well. See, they told me you, you used to be late by seven years ago. You, like, <laughs> right. What the hell is that? <laughs> right. What do you got to do with anything? Right. Yeah. You don't even know my situation. What do you have to do with anything? Yeah. 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 That's, that's Jake's mindset. Right. They, yeah. Our people hate accountability, man. Right. You know, and that's why they refuse to come up under the standard of the scriptures because this the, the, the standard of the scriptures make you hold your, yourself accountable, man. That's right. Bro. And what do you say about wisdom? Wisdom. Is the uh, desire discipline? The um, beginning of wisdom is the desire of discipline. No, father, Jake does not desire discipline. No, Just no, getting no. what you no. you know. Come they like them all what itching is, man. Come you know. And if I can add to it, just you know, it might be you know dabbing off a little bit, but uh, like wisdom 
and knowledge. Wisdom, what wisdom is, the proper application of knowledge. That just like construction and instruction. Instruction, you have the, the, the blue, the, uh, what they call the blueprints. Right. And then when you get the instructions, if you're using the instructions, you're going to start the process of construction. Mm -hmm. You know, just building like this, this, this word, man. It's a building process. Blueprint. Education. This is, this is our foundation, man. It builds us up, man. Yeah, yeah. blueprint. Raise up the house of David. That is. Come you know, on. Build it back up. Come it's on. building us up individually, and that's the house of David being raised up, man. Come you on. Know, if you can receive it. If you can uh, receive it. Right. But it's, it's made plain upon the table. Yeah, it's kind of, it's kind of, it's kind of. God, God. And like the brother was saying, man, in this word here is the blueprint. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. If I may, I, I can grind this free cell real quick, Bob. Yeah, you can't do it. I got a little bit more. All right. It says, and so return unto thee with all their heart and with all their soul in the land of their enemies, which led them away captive, and pray unto thee toward their land, which thou gavest unto their fathers, the city which thou hast chosen, and the house which I have built for thy name. Then hear thou their prayer and their supplication in heaven, thy dwelling place, and maintain their cause. Yeah, and that's what the Lord is going to do. Because you go to Isaiah 19 and say, how we gonna cry because of oppression? He's gonna send a mighty one to deliver us, man. That's the Lord taking heed to our prayers, man. Cause all the brothers praying for the same thing, basically. Come to destroy this setup and deliver your people. Come you know, we it's the gist of it, man. You know, every brother got a certain situation, they detail that they pray for. But the overall, the main thing, brothers, praying, praying for the downfall of this place and the judgment of the wicked, including the wicked of our people. And deliver your elect, man. Right. You know, the Lord finna get ready to make good on that promise, man. Right. You know? Come on. You got it. This is my last one. This is uh, 2 Timothy 3 and 16. All scripture is given by inspiration of the Most High. Mm -hmm. And it's profitable for doctrine, which is teaching. Yep. It said instructions. It says for reproof, for correction, for instruction. And that's and what we do, man. We teach you doctrine. All right? See, a lot of people look at, what's your point? What's this? Hey, call Cross the Line Radio. Hey, go do this. Hey, go debate the Egyptologists. And, and like, put on look. All black. All right, yeah, put yeah. on all black. Yeah. Like, look, what the fuck we going to do that for? <laughs> we ain't putting on no bulletproof vest. Come. We ain't putting on all black. We Come. not going to call to Zarya on Cross the Line Radio. Come. We not going to fucking beef with I IUIC or, or IRCPK or any of that. What we finna do is we finna teach you straight. Education. All right. We finna hit you with the doctrine. Right. And the doctrine is the truth. And that's the thing that a lot of people have a problem with. Mm -hmm. They got a problem with how we teach the truth mm -hmm. and how we bring it out. Y'all are upset because we tell you straight. Mm -hmm. We don't cut no uh, corners. We don't cut no chases. No chases. None of that. We just tell you straight. You know how you pour alcohol in a cup, mm -hmm. and they be like, "You want it on the rocks?" We don't give you, we don't give you the alcohol on the rocks. Mm -hmm. We tell mm -hmm. you that straight, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. all right? Because when you order alcohol, you be like, "Yeah, no, nah, no rocks. I want it straight. Come give on. it to me straight." <laughs> See, we we give it to you straight, and a lot of people they be upset. Mm -hmm. They be like, "Man, well, I felt like you did this, or I felt like that." Yeah, yeah. I mean this, yeah, man, shut the hell up. Alright. We giving it to you straight and y'all are upset because we still going. Come and on. not only are we still going, but we're giving it to you straight while we still going. Come That's on. what the Lord commanded us to do in Isaiah 58. He said, uh, uh, uh cry aloud, spare not. Tell my people of their transgressions. So we tell you your transgressions, but at the same time, you're upset with us because we tell you your transgressions without any type of uh, 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 filter. Mm -hmm. right, right, That's the right. best word, filter. Right. We ain't giving a filter with your transgressions, man. We in dire situations, man. <laughs> right. You know? the, the world about to end, Come and on. you over here... Get mad at us because we told you you keep committing adultery, you gonna die. Yeah, you behind like you say, you behind enemy lines. <laughs> right. You know, yeah. this ain't the time to be dealing with the emotional back and forth, man. We here to tell you straight, man. This is how we need to move right now at this moment. We need to be 
doing this, man. Right, right, this right. nigga Esau is thinking of a modified watermelon right now. Right. <laughs> and right. you over here mad at us. Right. You know, we telling you, hey, we need to be saved. Yep. <laughs> this nigga Esau yes. is goddamn thinking of a way that trannies <clears throat> can roam around you wherever you go. And get but, pregnant. And get pregnant. He he's trying to find a way trannies can get pregnant. And meanwhile, you mad at us because we like, hey, look, man, we can't stand this hey, shit. we can't, we hate this shit. We need to be saved. Come. You mad at us for that? You know what I'm saying? Look at Dwayne Wade and his son, and you mad at us because we like, hey, America needs to be destroyed. Come, this is America. This is where we live. Like, look, bro, you mad at us for saying that shit. But meanwhile, look at what the hell is going on, man. Mm -hmm. Be reasonable, Jake. Mm -hmm. Realize what is going on right in front of your eyes, man. Mm -hmm. You know? It's pure as You got it, You got it. Right. But that's the leaders of the day, though, if I can add to it. You know, because he say what his son, uh, or daughter, whatever the fuck it is, yeah. you know, is, uh, uh, a leader of today's society. Mm -hmm. How the fuck is that a leader? Leading you to death, man. Come on, just talk about that, man. Leading your ass to to uh, uh, the, the what is it? Uh, dead end, destruction. What you got? Dead end. And what is a dead end? This is Isaiah chapter one, verse nineteen. If ye be willing and obedient, ye shall eat the good of the land. Verse twenty. But if ye refuse and rebel, ye shall be devoured with the sword. Yeah, so the scriptures say if you refuse and rebel, you're going to be devoured with the sword. Mm -hmm. All right? And who's the sword? Esau. That mm -hmm. means the Lord is going to give you over to this nigga and let Esau have his way, man. Yes, sir. You know, you know Esau is going to show no mercy. mercy. Right. You know? Down, man. You through. <laughs> what yeah. Esau's supposed to show. Yeah. <laughs> Got that goodness and kindness. Yeah. This nigga Esau don't show nothing but uh, no mercy yeah. on you. This nigga Esau, y'all have to realize, man, what the Most High did to us. Come. All right, as a punishment, Come. the Most High, out of all the nations on earth and out of all the shit that happened, the Most High placed us in America Ooh. under slavery. Ooh. And he placed us with the worst rival. The yeah. worst uh, enemy possible. Ooh. And he put us under him. <laughs> Our worst enemy ever. Hey, that's that's the worst thing in a man's dreams. Mm -hmm. You don't want yeah. you don't ever yeah. want to be under your worst enemy. In the womb with him. Yeah, you did. Right. <laughs> in the womb with him. Yeah, we were talking about it before, Bob uh, Yeah, go yeah, ahead. That's go what ahead. we're saying. We were talking about it before uh, before was the lesson. Remember when King David had number Israel, mm -hmm. the Lord said, well, look, you did this, you went out, how you want to be punched? You want me to do it, or you want a famine, or you want me to let your enemies come to you? King David said, I'd rather you do it. <laughs> right. He said, God, I know it's you, Lord. At least you're going to have some mercy somewhere. Right. right. You give me to my enemy. Yeah, yeah. Hey, what gang tell him? <laughs> yeah, it was like, yeah. You gonna have to be on the run from your enemies for three years, yeah. or you gonna let Israel have a famine and death for seven years. Mm. That boy chose the famine and death for seven <laughs> years. Uh huh. You can't be on your run from your enemies, man. Your enemies, and this is our. It ain't just the enemies of King David. This right. is the worst enemy. Yo. Period. Uh, like, this is the worst enemy that we've ever had in the history of Israel. Uh, that has blocked us, that has messed us over. And the Lord actually gave him power and the fatness and the dwelling of the earth. Just like, see, this is how you know we in that time because Isaac gave him that blessing. Uh, he said at one point, because he was like, Father, is there at least one blessing for me? God. And he said, all right, you will live by the sword mm -hmm. and you will have the fatness on the earth. God. This nigga can do whatever he want to do on the earth, man. God. When you go, if y'all brothers ever travel internationally, travel internationally. God. And you will see 
who the main nigga over there. And, and, yeah, I'm saying nigga on the video. Come but yeah, yeah, you will see who the main nigga over there traveling in customs. Come traveling all that. You gonna see Esau, Esau. nigga with open toe sandals, <laughs> two little <laughs> shorts on, Good. over there looking lame as hell, lame proud as an ill. Exactly. Come Red than a motherfucker. The sun cannot stand him. But this nigga about to go to Africa. He about to go to uh, Dominican Republic. He about to go to Brazil. He about to go to all these different places. And you looking at him like, man, how are you able to afford this? And he, right. and he inherited those things. Come yeah. On. You know, the most part, they inherited those things, man. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you, you got to work on a job 27 years, finally get that promotion. Right. You know, where you go one place a year. Right. Yeah. He right. saw he inherited these things, man. This is his blessing, man. Uh -huh. All right? And we finna inherit this on a much higher level, man. Uh -huh. You see? And that's gonna begin with the house of David, man. Right. You know? So you should be all in putting whatever you can into building this house, man. Right. Up. You know? You read, you keep reading, bro. All right. It says, For the mouth of the Lord, Yahweh has spoken it. Right. Mm -hmm. Verse 21. How is the faithful city become an harlot? Yep. It was full of judgment. Yep. Righteousness lodged in it, but now murderers. They talking about how people fell off, man. Cool. Yep. You know, from a, from a, from a righteous kingdom, all right, to harlots, which is going to idolatry worship. You know, and then murderers, man. You <laughs> know? Shit, listen to rap music. Yeah. Cool. Listen to rap music, and you can see how people fell off. I fucked your bitch, nigga. Right. Like right. what? <laughs> Adultery against the law. Yeah. I'm eating steak and shrimp, nigga. Mm -hmm. Shrimp straight out the lake, nigga. Mm -hmm. Like, whoa, wait a minute. See, our people have fell into wickedness. Like you were saying, you got it. Mm -hmm. It says, verse 22 Thy silver is become dross, mm -hmm. thy wine mixed with water. Yeah, so the silver is a precious metal because Israel. All right, he's likening it to fine gold. The men of Israel are it to fine gold, man, precious gold. All right, but we have became dross, which is what? An unwanted gold. See, fine gold, everybody wants that. Everybody covets after this fine gold. But that dross, yeah, yeah. that dross don't nobody want it. And that's what Israel has became as a nation, man. <laughs> nobody wants you niggas moving in their neighborhood. No one wants you niggas eating at their establishment. Sure. All right? And no one wants you uh, 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 niggas. You know, uh, 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 working, all right, in a certain job. Hey, see? I looked up online, all right. I looked up online, and, and see, we got a we got a county called Madison County, all right. Mm -hmm. And back in two thousand nine, when they started building up Madison County, guess what, <laughs> bro? This is gonna be shocking, but at the same time, it's true. They said. Make laws. Make, I don't care how many laws you got to make, but make laws to keep them out of here. Mm -hmm. And then they said, wherever they go, trouble come with them. Mm -hmm. Curse is fire. Curse. <laughs> Curse. Curse. Wherever they go, trouble come with them. I think like in Madison, going back to some of the laws, there's no apartments. You, you can't play loud music. music. Yep. Mm -hmm. no tax, uh, the tax is high as hell. You know, the property tax. You know, uh, no, uh, pit, yeah. no pit bulls. You yeah. know, you know, yeah, no pit bulls. Yeah. Hey, you, you, you play your music <laughs> loud. You play your music loud. <laughs> they be like, you violating the noise ordinance. Right, right. They call it the noise ordinance. Right. You can't, you can't have your music loud enough for another person to hear. Right. Yeah. Right. That's how it is. They got those laws and just the MOD in general. If they can hear it. If they can hear it outside of your car in the speaker, yeah, something, right. they they can <laughs> give you a ticket. You know, they pull you up, give you a ticket because you your, your speaker too loud. Hey, Mississippi and Alabama, man, she's savage. Mm -hmm. All right, yeah. you know. Right. Yeah, bro. <laughs> right. It says, uh, verse twenty-three, the princes. The princes are rebellious. Mm -hmm. You're talking mm -hmm. about the leaders of our people, man. Mm -hmm. You got it. Yeah, if I can add to it, you're going to were rebellious, you know, uh, Bellum. You know, it just means to go to war, man. You know, they go to war with the Lord. They go to war with us, man. And we speaking the words of Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shah. They go to, work, go to war with these scriptures, man. Because yeah. they contrary to them. Yeah. So they're going against them. Because read me back. 
Yep. So they back in war with the most high. Yep. Bellum, the war. You yep. saw it put that mind frame on because see the, the the scriptures say the war will have war with Amalek from generation to generation. Mm-hmm. You see, but Amalek was controlled the yeah, right. he controls your leaders, all right? Mm-hmm. Your leaders are fabricated and given to you. Mm-hmm. No matter how real you think these niggas is, they fabricated right. and they mm-hmm. give them to you. These niggas be getting popped, right. all right, right. these niggas right. sacrificed, these niggas do all type of things. But these are the so-called princes, right. all right, mm-hmm. of our people, the rulers of our people, man. And he's going to tell you, as a matter of fact, keep reading. That's how we know he's talking about these niggas that's been sold out. Go ahead. Right. <laughs> and companions of thieves. And companions of thieves, man. Companions. Your companions, all right, with thieves. He right. saw them stole land, okay. stole resources. Okay. Hell, he done stole our identity, mm-hmm. all right? This nigga put you in the ghetto going to your land and say he you. Come and you made a covenant with him. Yeah. Come Come then Jake made a covenant with this nigga. After all of that, he made a covenant with him. Straight up. You got it. <laughs> then they tell you about it. They saw I married the money. Yeah. <laughs> Who you really married? Everyone loveth gifts and followeth after rewards. They judge not the fatherless, neither doeth the cause of the widow come unto them. That's if I beg. Come on, I'm to chase the bag, man. You um, got it, bro. And then what the scripture tell you in uh, Exodus, uh, I think it's 22 and 3, follow not a multitude to do evil, oh, and neither uh, rest the judgment of the evil, or something like some roughly paraphrasing, man. I mean, it twist and corrupt, man. Uh-huh. You know, because what our people like to do, man, they like to goddamn go with the, the, the latest fad, man. What's going on? If it look cool, we're going to go with them. Even though we know, you know, Jake be knowing who right and who wrong. But if it look good, it seem good, what Jake gonna do? They gonna follow that. Fuck the right. That's how yeah. Jake is, man. They gonna twist. They gonna twist the judgment, man, because they follow the multitude to do evil, man. You know, because it's more popular, more trending. You know, you know. You know yeah, you see, up, and, but they go back on what we were talking about earlier. Jake overlooked all types of wickedness, but they will find a flaw in us. Mm-hmm. And y'all said this wrong. Hey, brother, you mispronounced this word. <laughs> ha, 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 ha. Right. And it's like, right. wait a minute. Right. So you going to overlook the fact that Esau got them putting out the coronavirus, this nigga financing this shit. You going to overlook the fact that niggas out here in Israel lying and doing some bullshit. But meanwhile, you going to uh, find a fault in us because it's like, it look like he drinking. Mm-hmm. Or it look like uh, some goddamn, it looked like he was stuttering. <laughs> Damn, Jake. You really that bad. But with that being said, man, you know, we going to end this lesson. Want to give all praises to so Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Hashem, the one style with elders, the apostles, the great millstone. And the honest to the brothers who are out there doing the work in sincerity and the truth of Bible Ball. Bible Ball. Shalom. 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 Shalom.